Bethesda Game Studios has effectively just officially confirmed or even in a way revealed that they have some kind of new unannounced game on the way. And it seems like this isn't actually Starfield, this isn't actually the Elder Scrolls 6, or even some kind of new mobile title like a Starfield mobile, but something totally separate. And there are some very interesting possibilities. This new information comes from a recently posted job listing, and I know already some of you might be rolling your eyes at this. There's been a long history of people taking job listings way too seriously, like a video editor job confirming Starfield 2020. Obviously, that didn't happen. But this job listing is actually very interesting and quite a bit different than other ones ones we see even from Bethesda themselves and it is definitely worth talking about. So as far as a new one announced game coming from Bethesda, there's been rumblings of this over the past couple of months, most notably on LinkedIn. As a numerous LinkedIn profiles, we can see Bethesda Game Studios employees working on something unannounced or undisclosed, this seemingly not being Starfield or The Elder Scrolls 6, as many of these people got jobs at Bethesda after those games were already revealed. And although that's fine, open to interpretation you're looking at somebody's LinkedIn, which could be in various states of disarray or not updated depending on the person, but this most recent happening is again a job listing posted in the past 24 hours from Bethesda directly, where they do say Bethesda Game Studios is seeking a qualified server engineer to help create and improve systems for an unannounced title. Come join our experienced team of developers who have a legacy of creating AAA games. This is a terrific opportunity to work with some of the best people in the industry. And if you dive into a bit deeper, it definitely seems like this is for a mobile game of some kind, implementation and continuing support of large-scale client-slash-server applications. And again, it is worth noting this is a job at Bethesda Game Studios Austin, that being the developers behind Fallout 76. And really, thus far, under BGS, they haven't worked on much else outside of Fallout 76. And one of the reasons I find this so interesting or notable is that Bethesda is actually saying they're going to work on an unannounced title. They don't really talk like that. In a lot of other job listings, you will find this very familiar line where BGS is looking for a talented something, whatever the job is, to join our team that is pushing the bleeding edge of RPG development for PC and consoles. You can find that bleeding edge RPG development for PC and console on a ton of job listings. They don't often specify what you're working on. Occasionally, they will say things like Fallout 76 for the Austin studio, but it's pretty rare in the grand scheme of these job listings, which many are open right now, even even at the Austin branch. With one of the other very interesting aspects of this is it explicitly doesn't say AAA game. Many saw it listing as come join our experienced team of developers who have a legacy of creating AAA games and thought, okay, so it means it's going to be a AAA project, but in a lot of job listings, and there is some variations here, Bethesda does explicitly say if it's a AAA title, like where they said in the past, the bleeding edge in creating AAA games for PC and next-gen consoles. And as far as I could tell, officially from Bethesda, this the first time they have publicly acknowledged that they are working on some kind of unannounced title. All the other times we've talked about this unannounced project, it's coming from LinkedIn. And one LinkedIn profile stands out in a pretty massive way on this topic, as we had a senior DevOps engineer who left in March of 2020, who designed, built, and supported production and development of online game environments encompassing thousands of servers spread across multiple AWS regions, and he says he supported the games Fallout 76, Doom 2016, and an unannounced title. And this was somebody else working at Bethesda Game Studios Austin which would suggest that whatever this most recent job listing is about is some kind of game that was at least being developed in March of 2020, over a year of development time now already. And really, I want to establish now, those are the facts of the situation. Something is being developed by Bethesda Game Studios Austin that is new, unannounced, and seemingly going to have multiplayer. There's a couple of different things that can easily fit in here, but I think some stuff is more likely than others. One of the easy answers is a mobile title. Todd Howard said in the past, he always wants Bethesda working on something mobile, and this could be connected to that, although Bethesda Game Studios Austin is not traditionally a mobile studio. That would be Bethesda Game Studios Montreal, where you could find a ton of job listings open for mobile. So this definitely could be related to that, maybe some kind of Fallout Shelter Online coming to the West. Fallout Shelter Online right now is an Asia-exclusive sequel to the extremely successful Fallout Shelter. Perhaps they're updating that, or maybe it is just a new Fallout Shelter sequel in the same vein as Fallout Shelter Online, but for the Western countries. And perhaps the 
jobs are going to Bethesda Game Studios Austin as it is the studio with the most multiplayer experience. Perhaps it's just a joint effort between Montreal and Austin. And although that's possible, and I wouldn't say it's super unlikely even, I still think there is a better likelihood at something else going on here. And for me, what seems most likely is something I've talked about on the channel a couple of times now, and that is a Fallout 4 Special Edition. A soft remaster of Fallout 4, very similar to Skyrim Special Edition. This being a next-gen version of Fallout 4 that will feature some visual upgrades, hopefully expanded modability, so you have more mod slots and maybe even more possibilities with mods, but one of the biggest features being co-op in Fallout 4. As a real motivator to spend another $60 on a Fallout game, perhaps it'll be priced a bit lower. So why does this fit so well? Well, there's actually a plethora of reasons. Right at the bat, the whole reason we got Fallout 76 was Todd Howard and co had an idea for adding a multiplayer mode to Fallout 4. They decided that was too ambitious a project back in 2014, 2015, and it spun off into its own standalone game later on. That standalone game, of course, developed by Bethesda Game Studios Austin with help from the other studios, and of course, that's where we find these job listings now. But even further, the whole reason we got Skyrim Special Edition, that remaster of Skyrim, was in the process of developing Fallout 4. Bethesda tested porting a game to the next generation of consoles before they ported Fallout 4's code base to it. So since a bunch of that work was done already behind the scenes, they upgraded Skyrim's ported code base into a full-on remaster with mod support. I could see something very similar happening behind the scenes except with the development of Starfield and porting over Fallout 4's code base to the next gen of consoles. Even though it was a re-release and the big selling feature was mod support on consoles, Skyrim Special Edition was a huge success. It is still one of the most played games on Xbox right now, surpassing even like Cyberpunk. I imagine Bethesda took note of that and they have a similar opportunity once again with Fallout, except this time both with more modability as well as co-op support. The Fallout IP is a massive one, and right now Bethesda and the new overlords at Xbox are only monetizing that with Fallout 76, and having a remaster added in along the way could be a pretty interesting way to keep that IP active for what will otherwise be a longer gap in between games with Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6. Even further, it makes sense in that it's not listed as a AAA game on that job listing. A remaster is definitely not a full-on AAA game, it's going to be handled differently. And there also is some speculation that what if Bethesda Game Studios Austin effectively turns into the Fallout studio? Bethesda has grown exponentially over the past couple of years to now over 400 employees. They were at 100 during Fallout 4's development. And now, likely they'll grow a bit more with Microsoft. What if they kind of have two games in development at a time? A lot of focus being on Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6, but also the Austin studio getting work done on some of those Fallout titles, maintaining Fallout 76, and perhaps working in some of the next stuff. To me, this definitely seems like the most likely of the options, but of course, there's some other things out there too. Could just be something totally new. There are a of open trademarks like Redfall, Spy Team, Giant Monster News. Maybe this is some kind of smaller multiplayer game coming from Bethesda Game Studios Austin, similar to what Obsidian did with Grounded. To me, that seems pretty unlikely because Bethesda has these hyper valuable IPs, the Elder Scrolls and of course Fallout in this instance, that are just not getting fully utilized. Having a decade in between Fallout games is not ideal, so it doesn't make sense to me for them to take on yet another new IP in addition to Starfield. But who knows? Maybe that is something that could be coming here, some kind of smaller spin-off project. Either way though, I think this is something to get very excited for. As far as the timing on this one, again, based on that other LinkedIn profile, it looks like this has at least a year of development time on it. And with them officially acknowledging it in a sense, with a job listing that they know people will tear into when they see unannounced title officially listed by Bethesda Game Studios, this could be setting it up for something we hear about or hear mentions of at E3 or whenever Bethesda has more news to share. Something I've long speculated is, what if Bethesda goes the opposite route they did with Fallout 4, in that this time around, Starfield comes out in 2022 because they weren't able to get it finished, and this year we get that Fallout 4 Special Edition. Of course, with Fallout 4, it was the opposite. Fallout 4 came first, then Skyrim Special Edition. But either way, there's a lot to consider here. And although just a job listing can seem relatively minor, I think Bethesda knows that this kind of stuff's going to get speculated to death. So to me, them actually officially kind of revealing that have an unannounced title is kind of a big deal, or maybe someone just screwed up and accidentally confirmed it. Either way, I definitely hope we hear more about this going forward. I'm sure if we get E3 or summer game event interviews, people will ask about this. With that said, hopefully you guys found this one informative. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.